Okay, going on to lipids now. Um, so lipids, we're only looking at um, triglycerides. There are usually lipids broken up into these three, um, but we're just leaving it at that. So uh, the condensation reactions, again, it's, when you see the OHs here, it's telling you water's coming off. Uh, so this reaction needs to be memorized. Um, so you basically grab uh, a trial. This alcohol reacts with these um, fatty acid chains, carboxylic acids. Um, and then that forms the triglyceride. So you can see the ester link here and it's now been formed. Now triglycerides, uh, you also need to know uh, alpha-3 and uh, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. So if you go three carbons up, um, you've got the omega-3. Um, go back to here, omega-3, one, two, three, this is a double bond. Uh, if you go six carbons up, we're going from the wrong end, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, there we go, six. Um, so they swapped that one around on me. That's a nice trick to throw in the exam. Uh, throw the carboxylic acid group on the left or right hand side. So pay attention to that. So that one's an omega-6. Okay. Um, another thing to note, cis-trans, um, as you can see, uh, we're always told trans acids are bad. You can see that the structure of that keeps it more, far more linear and rigid, um, whereas unsaturated acids are considered good. I like to imagine that because there's a kink in there, that's easier access, less steric hindrance for enzymes to break down the fatty acids. Um, that's how I uh, understand it in a biological sense of why it would be healthier for you and trans fats are so bad. Um, and same with saturated fats, they look very much like trans fats. Okay, uh, and so here, this is just a little bit more. So make sure in your answer you talk about London dispersion forces because they are just long carbon chains with no polar. Um, well, there's a polar head, uh, but the molecule itself here does has no hot, but dipole, dipole or hydrogen bonding. Uh, and so that would explain why saturated at, uh, fats are solids at room temperature and these ones are liquids and also considered better for you. A second thing to do uh, with these uh, polar heads, these fatty acid chains, is they form soaps. Uh, so soaps have the ability to grab onto both a non-polar region and a polar region, and then the water can grab onto that and pull the whole thing away. Uh, and so that, uh, that formation here is called a mycele. Looks very much like the biology phospholipid bilayer, and it's sort of doing a, a similar thing, really. The polar bits sticking together and the uh, non-polar bits sticking together and the polar bits sticking together as well with the water on the outside. So you need to know this reaction, this balanced reaction. Uh, make sure you've got the threes in there. Um, and so grabbing a uh, triglyceride and heating up sodium hydroxide, uh, you'll get the glycerol out and you'll make the fatty acid salt, which is the soap. Uh, so here's just a picture of how the hydrophobic and hydrophilic uh, works. Uh, that's just a slightly better picture than my description from the previous slide. Uh, and last thing to mention is hard water is basically a concentration of ions uh, that will grab onto the polar heads uh, and therefore make it uh, less effective. And so you can see in hard water that the, the ability to bubble will be far less. Uh, it'll also, these, these cations will interact with these uh, polar heads and so they won't be able to interact with the water as well. And so the water won't be able to pull away the, um, the grease and so forth.